Hey guys, it's Brent with Likens Motorsports. On my broken down cart is a Dart SHP 8.2 deck block. This is um, Mr. Ron's block. It's been freshly machined and, and ready for prep and um, wash and painted and, and all that good stuff. So um, the way that these come, they don't have any freeze plugs in them. They don't have the oil filter adapter uh, nipple in it. Um, all the gallery plugs are out. The cam bearings are not in it. So this is pretty much what you get. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, first thing we're going to get our cam bearings knocked in. And uh, if you go with the Dart accessory kit, you get a nice coated grooved cam bearing and um, typical small block forward size so that you put the groove in the middle of the hole and you can clock these so that you get some oil at the at the four or five o'clock position and and some other spots so so here's here's our cam bearings um they have part numbers on them and uh shows you which one to put where uh they kind of come stacked in a in a like a shrink wrap package and uh, I don't think that they're in order by the time you get them out of the package they're for sure not in order but um, that's the direction you put them in so I'm gonna go ahead and get that get these knocked in get my cam bearing tool out and uh, I'll touch base with you here in a second all right so on these grooved cam bearings you just gotta pay just a little bit closer attention to how you drive them in and uh, make sure that you hit all the oil passages um, so there's a passage that uh, intersects with uh, the oil uh, flow travel that will oil uh, this groove that goes to your cam thrust plate. And if you notice, there's a hole right there in the bearing and there's an intersection behind that. So what I can do is I can put some brake cleaner in there and make sure that that passage is free. That way I know that there is going to be oil going through that passage uh, to get to the cam thrust plate. So just gotta pull my cam bearing tool out and all the cam bearings will be done. Um, we'll get a test fit on our cam and make sure that I didn't bugger anything up. And then we'll get on to putting our rear cam plug in and then we'll get the block up on the engine stand. And here's our trial fit of our bump stick and i've got her by the nose and just very very little effort uh there's no lubrication or anything on this either so this is a custom uh billet steel standard base circle camshaft uh comp cams ground this one for me and um specs are to uh, take advantage of our dark iron eagle heads and Put the power band in a streetable position. This cam, uh, like I said, it's standard base circle because these aftermarket blocks will use uh, the same hardware as a factory late model roller block. So um, the, the lifter spider, the dog bones, and the OEM style lifters. And standard base circle cam to do that. So the rule is um, if you have an older block that you want to convert over to the OEM style lifters and the lifter tray, then you need a small base circle cam. You drill and tap the lifter valley of the block for the bolts to hold down that uh, spider, that lifter hold down, uh, the dog bone hold down, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't, I really don't even know what the formal name for that thing is, but um, that sheet metal piece, you all know what I'm talking about. Um, if you want to use link bar lifters in an early block, then you can use a standard base circle cam. Um, on this particular block, you could use either lifter with a standard base circle cam. So the that's kind of the, um, the little tricks of the small block forward world when it comes to swapping lifters and cams and that sort of thing. But we're in good shape. Like I said, easy peasy right here. And I'm going to pull that cam out, stick it back in the box and get our um, rear cut plug in. Dart sends an excellent 
uh, kit with their accessory pack. You get all the gallery plugs, block head dowels, freeze plugs, um, rear cam plug. So just a bunch of good stuff in there. Uh, you pay about 90 bucks for that, but like I said, it comes with everything that you need to get your dark block up and running. All right, we got that rear cam plug in. It's got a shoulder that you drive it up against, and I just use a, a freeze plug driver. Pop, pop, pop. And uh, I try to be detail-oriented. It's got some lettering on it, and it looks good when uh, the lettering is... Let me see if I can... Right side up and oriented correctly. Just me being anal about things. But um, got that in there. Um, I can go ahead and put our other freeze plugs in. And then we can get this thing up on the engine stand. And we're plugging right, right along. Uh, easy for, for you to say, right? Uh, brass freeze plugs installed with the lettering correct side up. We've got our oil filter nipple screwed in. Got our uh, block drains in. And uh, it's a good idea to do all this stuff before it goes on the engine stand. If you leave this plug out while um, you're priming the oil pump, you'll get a mess running down the back of your crank. Um, you could always put these uh, plugs in when the engine's down on a cradle, but to me it's easier to do it when it's on the cart. Same with the front on here. And uh, we've got our time and cover dowels in. So it's time to get it up on an engine stand. All right, we've got our Ford Racing lifters out here. I've already mic'd one. And um, what we'll do is we'll check our lifter board clearance. These are supposed to be about one and a half to one seven. So we are, we are right there. Yeah, we're in good shape. So I'm gonna check all 16 of these. Hey, this is the block right side up. I could have laid out with that, I guess. Um, just a real nice piece. These, both the world products and the dark blocks are top notch. And uh, maybe we'll do a little comparison here in a second. But it's it's hard for me to pick between one or the other when, when I'm doing a build and generally it comes down to which one's in stock. But uh, here's, they're just beefy. There's big old blocks. And then here's where your lifter hold down tray bolts to. So we'll get this. Uh, I'm going to measure all these uh, lifter bore clearances. Then we'll mic a piston and check our cylinder bore clearances to make sure the machinist did what he was supposed to do. And then um, we'll just keep plugging on. Um, probably get this thing final washed here in a second. When you drive cam bearings in, it uh, gets a little bit of dust and stuff inside. What I do is I pump lacquer thinner uh, all the way through the block and spray it off in the inside and uh, make sure everything is, is kosher there and then wipe out everything. Priority main oiling, uh, which a small block forward is priority main oiling anyway, even the factory ones. So comes off the pump. Here's your main oil gallery. It feeds your uh, cam bearings, main bearings, and rod bearings. Goes all the way back to this back passage and then hops up. And then your lifters are the last ones to get oil. So priority on the mains. All right, so our lifter boards are checked. Our piston to cylinder wall clearance is checked. We're at three and a half thousandths there. So we are in good shape. Um, I'll probably go ahead and file our piston rings next, but I think I'm going to take a little breather. Um, I've mentioned in videos past that I've jacked my back up and normally when I'm working and my foot starts tingling, I know that I need to take a break. So, um, probably knock it off for today and get some orders put in and get some emails caught up and that sort of thing and then hop back on it tomorrow morning. But uh, we are in motion and uh, making progress. So I dropped the crank off to be balanced the other day. I got our bob weight all measured up, so should have the crank back next week. We should be able to start hopping on, on checking bearing clearances and, and all that stuff. So we are in good shape. Hey, I think I'm going to be doing, um, 
a collaboration with Drag Boss Garage this weekend. So uh, kind of stay tuned on his channel for that so that you don't miss out on that. I don't know what we'll be doing yet. Maybe some q and A. I I don't know, but uh, may want to hop on there. And if you got a question, uh, post your question and we'll do our best to, to give you an answer. But uh, here's where I'm going to stop today. Hope you're having a good week. It's beautiful outside. I'm going to see if I can go flying tomorrow morning and uh, catch up on some hours. But uh, hope you all have a good weekend too. Talk to you soon.